Hey there, Pagosa, my name is Matt, and I'm a local realtor here with Sherpa Real Estate. And this is a recap for the town council meeting on May 20th, 2021. There was a lot going on, so let's get into it right after this beautiful drone shot of the high country. This was a shot used from a video I created on the Pagosa paddle event. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to head to thisispagosa.com to take a look. It was a really fun video and fun event that I got to be a part of. A few quick notes about this meeting. Rory Burnett was absent. Madeline Bergen arrived late and Matt DeGraff had to leave shortly after the meeting started. First up was the consent agenda, which included quite a few liquor license renewals for Alley House, The Junction, Natural Grocers, and Neon Mallard. It also permits liquor for the three ComFest events on June 18th, July 16th, and August 20th. Speaking of all this booze, this is a 2020 vintage ale from Ivory Bill Brewing. It's a small brewery located in Siloam Springs, Arkansas. And if you're ever headed to Bentonville to ride the world-class mountain bike trails there, be sure to stop at Ivory Bill along the way. Until Matt sent you. Next up was the reports to council. March lodging tax collections were up 167% compared to the previous March and sales tax collections were up 49.7%. Of course, last year in mid-March, everything shut down due to quarantine, but it's still pretty amazing to look back and see how far we've come since then. On to unfinished business. Council selected at random three nonprofits to receive proceeds from community festivals this summer. Under new business, Council approved the Pagosa Arts Initiative, which will place art installations across town. They also approved the Public Arts Committee, which will be composed of five members from the community who will approve the artists that apply for these installations. I gotta say, I'm pretty, pretty excited about this. Item three is a quick claim deed. Basically, this is a land swap clarifying ownership on an easement. Item four had quite a bit of discussion. This is an ordinance for the overlay district that prohibits townhomes from being on the first floor. It does allow them if access is from the alley, but the goal here is that all street level floor access locations are businesses. Second floor can be residences and multifamily. Item number five was a liquor license for Tall Pines Beer and Wine Garden, which will be located where the old shooters and shenanigans used to be. Item six is a liquor license for Picasso and Vino. Item seven splits up some money among eight nonprofits. Council came to a total of about $30,000 out of the 45,000 budgeted. Item eight was a discussion on how to spend the 25,000 budgeted for early childhood education, the 100,000 budgeted for broadband expansion, and then 108,000 budgeted for housing choices. Item number nine continues a contract for IT services with local firm Echo IT for $6,875 a month. Item number 10 extends a franchise agreement with Zito to operate cable. Item number 11 starts up a tree advisory board helping Pagosa Springs become a Tree City USA community. Item number 12 engages a consultant for $4,968 to help get public feedback for the Urban Renewal Authority. Basically, the URA will help leverage a tourism-based economy to generate affordable housing, among other things. And lastly, after going into executive session, Council agreed to purchase 558 Hot Springs for no more than $182,500. And that's it for this week's Town Council meeting. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out thisispagosa.com and all the cool stories that I'll be posting on there. I'm just getting started and can't wait to showcase all the cool places and things this town has going for it. Cheers, Pagosa. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're looking to move to this magical town and need to buy or sell a home, I'd love to help guide you. And if you're a local business that would like to collaborate to make cool content for this channel, contact me. Cheers, Pagosa.